Oral reading is a Sedai strategy where students will be reading in unison, where the teacher will model, and other, and other students will also follow along. Teachers can modify the strategy by breaking students into groups, or again, reading as a whole class. The benefits to this strategy uh, for ELLs is that allows the, it allows ELL students to self-assess because they're able to listen to other students pronounce words. Uh, they're able to see the timing and then compare it to their own reading. It also helps them build confidence and fluency because they're not, their reading is masked by the voices of other students. It also helps them practice prosody, which has to do with the fluctuations in speech, which will help give meaning to the material that we're reading. The steps for this strategy are that you need to first choose a reading passage. This can include poems, pictures, uh, rhymes, even songs. We then hand out copies. It's essential to hand out copies to students because this allows them to follow along and also be accountable. Modeling the reading is again essential because they'll get an idea of how to read the passages or whatever you choose to read. In between that, you want to check for understanding. Make sure that any words or new vocabulary is addressed. And then finally, you can read aloud in unison. Today we're going to be reading a song. Uh, it's by They Might Be Giants. We're going to be going over the vocabulary first. You guys will be able to read through the definitions. At the end, we'll also go through the song so you guys can see how funny it is. But first, I'll go ahead and read it to you first so you know how to pronounce everything. Do you guys have any questions about the vocabulary in there? Any specific terms you might be confused about? What's incandescent? I think I've heard that before. Okay, so if you flip the page over, on there it says, it's something that emits light as a result of being heated. So in this case, the song is talking about the sun. The sun is a miasma of incandescent plasma. The sun's not simply made out of gas. No, no, no. The sun is a quagmire. It's not made of fire. Forget what you've been told in the past. Electrons are free. Plasma. Fourth state of matter. Not gas. Not liquid. Not solid. The sun isn't a red dwarf. I hope it never morphs into a 